Hello guys, welcome back to another video of me, Super 7 and today my friends, I'm going to be showing you how to summon the Empress of Light boss inside of your Terraria worlds. The first criteria that you're going to need to have met is that you need to defeat Plantera in order to get the Prismatic Lacewing, which is the mob that you need to slay inside of the Hollow to make the Empress of Light spawn. So I have some tips on how to make the Prismatic Lacewing spawn more frequently inside of the Hollow. One, you can use water candles from the dungeon and you can grab those and put them in the Hollow biome. This will increase enemy spawn rate, therefore increasing the spawn rate of the Prismatic Lacewing. Now you're probably thinking, however, the Prismatic Lacewing is a passive NPC slash mob. This is classed as an enemy, therefore, when you put down the water candles, it increases the spawn rate. I recommend using a battle potion which will spawn more enemies. This will therefore make the NPC of the Prismatic Lacewing spawn a little more often. And the reason for this is because by the game spawning in loads and loads of enemies, it will increase the chance of spawning in the rarer mobs. So another recommendation that I have is that you capture the Prismatic Lacewing on the night that you find it with a bug net and that you save it until the next night. If you take about an hour in Terraria time to grab it, then if it starts switching to daytime, the Empress of Light will start to do so much more damage. During the daytime in Terraria, the Empress of Light can deal up to 200,000 DPS to your character. There is no way to survive that amount of DPS, so that's why I recommend waiting until the next night. So once you reach the next night, I recommend spawning her as soon as you can, destroy the Prismatic Lacewing, and this will summon the Empress of Light. So my friends, that is how you summon the Empress of Light boss inside of your Terraria world. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you haven't already, please make sure to smash that like button and show some love. If you happen to be new here, then please also subscribe to the channel. And also, if you haven't already, go and check out my Discord for all the latest and greatest Terraria news, as well as new updates and uploads coming to my channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I've been Sewer7. You've been absolutely awesome. I'll see you all in my next video.